Boom. We are pre-recorded, ladies and gentlemen. I am excited to go over Bitcoin's price today. We've just jumped over a 95.79. Digibyte has been added to Binance. Uh, finally, I'll say. Uh, we saw a nice 40% spike off that this morning as well. So we're just going to dive in and take a look at the charts. So here I have Bitcoin open on the daily right now. We've been following this Wyckoff potential distribution model. And this could very actually easily turn it into a wave, um, a wave, an awkward wave four, and which would turn this into an accumulation area. Now, keeping a close eye on this, I think, is always important because when we are learning, which is always the case um, in in both a technical and a fundamental standpoint, you know, a lot of this stuff takes years and years to really get under your belt. Um, I've been trading and investing for about a decade now. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes, lost a lot of money, made a lot of money. But one of the things I find interesting about this learning process is finding new things like this, this distribution model here. So if we start to go above and close around 9,700 and more importantly above 9,800 and build volume there, it's going to be a really, really important factor. But for now, on the daily, uh, here, I'll switch it over now. Here on the daily, we went below the 50-day moving average and we've jumped up to touch the 21-day moving average. Now again, I've mentioned this a few times, but I would like to see a consistent retest of the 21-day moving average here, which is this white line. And that looks like it could be happening. To me, that would signal a long-term bull market. And again, I've said this many times, I'll say it again, that bull market is going to take around 10, maybe even more, to really play out. So I'm in no rush in these videos. I'm in no rush as an investor. I'm in no rush as a trader. And you shouldn't be. Getting caught up in all the wow, bull run stuff is the sign of a beginner. It's the sign of someone who spent very little time in the markets. Not that that's a bad thing. We all have to start off as beginners. But what it is important to understand is that the, those emotions will often make you a bad trader. They'll make you do things that are based off an emotional speculation instead of well-sounded fundamental judgments. So keeping a really close eye on this here because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. There's global dismay and things are not getting better anytime soon. That's a little worrying for me that the markets really haven't, I guess, fundamentally digested this part yet. We see around the world a lot like tourism's collapsed, bars, restaurants collapsed. Main Street in most parts of the world is doing very, very poorly. Whereas when we look at the S&P 500, things are still going up. Bitcoin to me is an asset, just like all the other assets one might own in their stock portfolio from, or physical gold, silver, or um, if you happen to be like me right now, living out in the middle of the jungle, the land and the water and food that I own. Bitcoin speculation on this price here um, is really about its long-term evaluation. Now for me, Bitcoin's long-term evaluation could go up into the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. I'm going to just keep repeating the sentiment so that I make sure people don't get lost because as a trader myself, I know it's really easy for a beginner to get caught up in that, oh my God, it's a bull market. Like I just quick throw everything in before tomorrow's over and then it drops 30%, right? Maybe you get it right. 50-50 chance you get it right. Go up or down. It's a 50-50 chance, right? Not a bad bet. <laughs> That's why most people make those speculations. Bitcoin is a fundamental asset that I will believe holds its value for the long term. And because of that, I think investing on the long term is a good idea. But now to get into the trading aspect, to get into the fundamentals of taking advantage. Now, if you're part of our private uh, trading uh, den, our community here, um, you will remember that I went long at 93.50. And actually last night, uh, you guys would have remembered if I, uh, if you're in, if our, in our group chats, I uh, went half long, half short, because I was very undecided and I knew the markets were going to do something but I didn't know which way they were going to go. So I figured while I was falling asleep, best way to do that is hedge my hats, my bets in both directions. And la-di-da, up we continued. Now, again, I, I do suspect we're going to see some resistance at this $9,700 area here. This is the next real big bout. So somewhere around 97 to 9780 is probably where we're going to go to this week. I am still long in that position, and I will hold that position until we get to this point. The other area that I left short was more of a, hey, just in case when the market decides, I'll choose. Now, um, it was I put enough into that position to be happy with its movement upwards. So at this particular moment, I'm not going to increase that bet. In terms of my investment portfolio, I just always keep buying Bitcoin. Every, every month that I can, I acquire a little more, right? Now, I want to take a look at Digibyte here. We're huge fans of Digibyte. 
And for those of you that have been following us again in our private Bear Den group or even just on, on our free channel here, we made this outlook um, back here in the beginning of May. We had a nice 300% run up um, and we've been following this nice ascending triangle into the Wyckoff model. And this is usually a sign of an accumulation period. And now that Binance has chosen to list Digibyte, it could continue a lot higher. I've made speculations upward, upwards of 700 Satoshis, which would be around another 300% gain from the first time we'd started make our, make, making our entries back around 50 to 150 Satoshis. Uh, hats off to all the Bear members who made those profits. I'm really excited. And to all of you that are doing such a great job learning trading and helping one another in our private community. I think that's what it's so exciting is that you guys all do so well for helping one another. I'm expecting that Digibyte is going to continue up this triangle. But remember that even in trading ranges like this, that's a 38% trading range, right? So if you were buying down here at a, at a buck 70 and exiting at, a, at 200, 230, you're pulling in an extra 20 to 30%. We've had that a few times here. So Digibyte's box this box that we're in here, this box trading range right now is huge, fundamentally, like 30 to 40% per trade is huge. So I'm really excited to see that. Now, I don't want to go into link too much, but I will take a quick look at it um, because I'm going, I've been slowly putting a little bit of extra capital into link uh, just to have some skin in the game for this particular uh, asset. Um, I know that a lot of you guys have uh, entered pretty heavily last year and hats off to you. I'm really impressed by what Link has done. Uh, it kind of blew my mind. Um, I, I did not see that coming. Um, hopefully my internet is still working here. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to show you any more charts and that's going to that's gonna hurt what I was going to do next. Um, and it looks like that might be the case. There's no currently no electricity in the jungle and no internet right now either. I don't know why, because it's a sunny day. But with that in mind, seeing as things aren't working, tell you what, give us those thumbs up, guy. Thank, thank you for all the support. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, the internet's not working here, so we're just going to leave it at Bitcoin and Digibyte today. Um, again, I'm waiting for the distribution model in Bitcoin to give me a much clearer signal. And with Digibyte here, we're going to play within that box range again until it gives us a clearer up or down signal. I'm going to let the last few minutes of this video go and uh, just stare at the jungle because I'm sure if you guys would, some of you would absolutely love to uh, just visit the nature that we've got in the background here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And in the meantime, hopefully the internet comes back on so I can upload this video. So here we go. We'll scooch the computer desk ar uh, around. We'll go like that. And then we'll leave you off with a little view of the jungle for the next few minutes. Uh, thumbs up, big family. Love you guys. Ciao.